If you want to create some really cool grid effects on your images and photos that you create in Photoshop, well go ahead and follow along with me right now. I'll show you exactly how to do it. And this is a really cool modern trendy type effect seen in magazines and all over the place. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just mimonize this photo right here, and let's go ahead and open up the same photo, but it doesn't have the grid actually applied to the photo yet. So let's go in and create the grid right now. I'll show you how to do it. Come right up here to File, and then come down here to New, and let's go ahead and create this new image. We're gonna create a very small image. Make sure inches is set to pixels. Make sure everything is set to pixels right here. For the width, let's go ahead and enter in 14 and go ahead and press the tab key on the keyboard to go down to the next spot and for the width or for the height Let's go ahead and enter in 14 as well and for the resolution. Let's enter in 72 Okay, and now come right down here where it says background contents Make sure that's on transparent now by default it might be white But make sure for the background contents It's transparent just like that and when you have all that just go right up here and click ok all right, and you'll see this little tiny image created on your screen, and what I want you to do is just zoom into that image. Select the zoom tool on the toolbar and just zoom into it, just like so. Right about there, that'll work just fine. And then come right over to the toolbar and select the line tool, okay? Come down here and select the line tool. And now if you're working with a very, very high resolution image, you might wanna come up here to where it says weight and put two. Okay, enter in the number two because that'll mean you'll create a grid with a two pixel uh, width. But for lower resolution images, uh, one pixel width will work just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that at one. And what I'm gonna do is just come right over to this image right here and hold down the shift key so I get a nice straight line. I'm gonna start right up here and hold it down and then just click and drag down this line, just like that. And I'll click the mouse again and draw out a line this way. There we go. Okay, so after this shape is created, all you have to do is just go right over here to edit, come right down here to define pattern, okay? Go to edit and come down here to define pattern. All right, now go ahead and give that pattern a name. I'm just gonna put uh, grid. I'm just gonna put grid and then I'll go ahead and click okay, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and click back over on the image where we wanna apply the grid to, okay? Come right over to the layers palette and let's go ahead and I'm gonna go up here to the layers options here. Just make my palette options just a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. Okay, I'll go ahead and widen this up a little bit so we can see everything. And well, I'm gonna come down here and make a new layer on this layers palette. Just go ahead and make a new layer right on top of the layer or, or the image that I wanna apply the grid to. Okay, and then I'm gonna come right up here to edit and down here to fill. All right, and right here where it says contents, we must select pattern from the content area right there. And, you know, a foreground color might be selected. Well, just select pattern right there, okay? And then right here where it says custom pattern, click on this little drop down, and you'll find your little custom pattern right there. And if you hover over it, it'll tell the name right there. It'll say just grid, okay? And 14 by 14 pixels. But go ahead and just click on that. Double click on it. And then go up here and just click OK. And that pattern, that grid will be applied to the image. OK, so, so basically what we've created, we've created a pattern that when uh, filled to an image, it will look like a grid. We haven't actually created a grid, but we've created a pattern that will allow us to create the grid. OK, so that's what's so cool. Now, check this out. So if you want to actually blend that grid into the image a little bit, come right over here to the Layers palette and come right down here to Overlay. And you can overlay that grid onto an image. Okay, now if the black grid is not totally pleasing you, you're not totally crazy about the black grid, well you can actually switch that to a white grid really fast. Come right up here to image, down here to adjustments, come all the way down here to invert. And you can invert that black grid to white. Look at that. So that's cool and you can try other different overlay effects. Look at that. Okay, well let me show you something else that's totally cool. We can add layer styles to this layer that contains the grid. Okay, this is totally cool. Come right over here to the to layers palette and just double click just to the right of the name on the layer. Boom, like that. And when you do that, the layer styles will come right up on the screen. Okay, go ahead and come down here and select outer glow, just like that. And look at this. So we can apply some really cool effects to the grid, making it look totally awesome. And I can control you know, the color of the glow if I want. I can you know, adjust the spread of the glow. So there's so many options right here. And if you come right down here where it says quality contour, click on that and you can just apply different type of contour uh, you know, blending effects uh, to the glow. So check this out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here. That looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So check this out. Now let me show you something else. Come right now over down to the bottom of the layers palette and add a layer mask. Add a layer mask by clicking on this button right here. Boom. All right. Now what we're gonna do here is actually create a gradient on this layer mask. Okay, well the layer mask is currently white. And for order, in order for it to affect anything on the layer, we need to actually add uh, or paint black or add a black gradient. It must be black, okay, in order for, to see a result. So come right over here to the toolbar and click on the gradient tool, okay? Now make sure that the foreground color is black. You can see my, mine's black right there. Uh, if it's white like that, go ahead and press the X key on the keyboard and then it'll be black just like that, okay? But also make sure, come right over here to the options bar and the gradient preset picker and make sure that the second one right here is selected okay this will mean that the foreground color will be going to transparent you see it a little little label that comes up foreground to transparent that's exactly what we want so make sure just double click on the second box right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out of the image just a little bit I'm gonna start over on this side of the image and hold down the shift key and draw just go ahead and fill this with a uh, gradient I'm gonna start over here and just drag towards the middle of the image and release the mouse and check that out. So we can actually have the grid gradually going into the image like this. I'm gonna go up here to view and go down here to actual pixels. Check this out. So you can see how it's kind of gradually going in there. But if let's say you want to actually turn off that outer glow effect, anytime, come right over here to the layers palette and just un just go ahead and click on a little eyeball there and that'll make it invisible. So you can just see the grid only. Okay, and if the grid's too powerful, you wanna go ahead and tone down the grid a little bit. Just turn down the opacity on the layer, just a little bit like that. You just sort of make it a little faint. You don't wanna actually be out there, you know, really bright grid. You just want a very very subtle, light grid on the image to just turn down the opacity. So that is how we can create some really cool grid effects in Photoshop. Wow, this is totally awesome. We'll see you later.